Tinimbu shocked. When K2027 secret plan exposed, Fubara wins as court strikes his suit. Hello everyone, welcome back once again. As we speak, Bola Metinimbu is shocked because you know yes, so Wiki secret has now been exposed by a particular chieftain in River State. Look at the River State crisis. That yes, so Wiki brought in similar Fubara into government, and as we speak, there are a lot of differences in his government. There has never been any time. This, you know, prominent governor has even ruled without having grievances. And you, as you could recall, as you could see on your screen, Yen Somike and his loyalists were in Abuja when they presented an award to Yen Somike and they were jubilating, chanting and even stating that how many then they, why will not go win them and all of that. You see, these terror of reasons are the more reasons why Bola Metinimbo was brought into this particular case because he was the one that brought, you know, the reconciliation and eight point agenda in Abuja whereby they signed, notwithstanding that uh, similar Fubara came out to state that that's that signatory he made was just a solution to a political problem that it was not constitutional now as we speak the court has issued an order and i'm going to be showing you that but the expose that has been made on yes omike to was what he's going to do to uh, you know bola metin will come 2027 exactly what has shocked a lot of persons so many persons have been curious and they have been thinking about it that what could this be after you know bola metin must have even appointed him as the minister of fct i'm going to be showing you that and also i'm going to be showing you exactly what has happened how the two faction of the house of assembly martin samehule led faction and the you know okojumbo led faction how they have now held a sitting and as a matter of fact what what exactly what is happening listening extensively to what exactly the exposé made on issue we can come to in 27 when we come back we'll continue we don't want to go with the impression that the government in abuja the federal government and the president is giving tacit, appro tacit approval to what Mwike is doing as a minister. I have said it severally. The president has no business to listen to Mwike. You have given him a job. You have rewarded him for the uh, manipulation he did in Rivers. We have let it go. But he should not put fire in Rivers that will affect your office as president. If the problem is about 2027, the person you should do business with is Fubara. He's the man on seat. You know it, Mr. President. You have been there for eight years. You are the most experienced politician to become president. So you should understand it more than I do. If you don't know, Mwike will contest against you, President Tinubu, in 2027. Take it to the bank. All that he's doing Forget about all these razzmatazz in Abuja. Yes, he has done well. He will run against you. He will run for president. He will leave your office. He will leave that office end of 2025 or early 2026 to prepare for his presidency. Why do I say so? I have on record 26 speeches made by Mwike, which showed commitment. He had failed in all. So your own, President Tiribu, will be my, my case. That will be another regret he will tell Nigerians. I know what I'm saying. I know Mwike very well. And he knows me very well. Mwike will run against you in 2027. He should not destroy this democracy. Whether you did something to bring Fubara or that is your business. That thing was done in the dark. Why do you want to clean the stomach of a cow in the public? That's between you go inside and do it. There is always peace in rivers. Until the Abuja group moves in on the weekend. The place will be hot until Sunday. When they go back, there will be peace. So what I'm saying is the FCT minister should face his work here. He should not ignite a crisis in rivers that will consume all of us, including Abuja. And why I'm saying this is because everybody will be affected. When we fought for this democracy, when I was young, when I was in the trade union, my group, Wike was nowhere to be found. These are people who benefited from this democracy because of relativity to time and space. 
Today, somebody like him is now seeing himself as the god of Nigeria. He can abuse anybody, he can say anything, he can talk anyhow. You heard what he said about a senator representing FCT, a woman that is 70. He has no respect. He said worse things against Odili and Justice Omeri Odili. Now he's facing the woman. Uh, she wants us to be friends. The woman said, I've never met you. The nearest I met you was in the Senate Committee, and you sat the other side of the table. Who would want to be a friend anyway? I will make sure that she doesn't return to. Who are you to decide whether Ireti will return as senator in FCT or not? It is the FCT voters that will decide that. Anyway, that day of election, you will be in rivers fighting for your own presidential election. Abuja voters will decide who should go to the Senate, not you, Wike. You cannot decide that. You cannot decide that. You are too little to decide who will be senator in Abuja. Abuja voters, they know where to go. They may decide to change the rating not because of you. They may decide to return her. It's not because of you. No, please, act with decorum and respect. We know you have deep pockets. Welcome back, guys. I believe you have heard the expose made by this prominent chieftain of River State, stating on Yen case plot in 2027. Now, as you could see on your screen, Fubara wins as Apico strikes out suit by Pro Mike's local government chairman. Recall that you know the local government chairman that their tenure finished, and that gave Semlai Fubara the you know right to go and appoint CTC chairman so that there will not be vacuum in the local government in the state. Now, they went and appealed that particular judgment. But, but now, as you speak, the court has striked out that particular appeal, stating that the local government chairman, their tenure has elapsed, and the CTC chairman are still now going to take fully cover of the local governments in the state. Now, as you speak, there has been a lot of controversy ever since the Federal High Court quashed out the appeal of, of you know Oko Jumbo led uh, House of Assembly stating that Martin Amehule's led assembly had lost their seat. Now as you could see on your screen, now Pro Wikis River State ha Assembly lawmakers being Martin Amehule went ahead as far as giving seven day automatum to Semela Fubara, the incumbent governor of the state, to represent the 2024 budget. Now this is contrary to the fact that Oko Jumbo led faction also you know welcomed that particular budget and also even went as far as screening you know commissioners and ctc chairman and even attorney general of the state and other bills that they have proposed in the house of assembly and as we speak you know there has been two factions of the assembly sitting currently in the state and this is unconstitutional this is arbitrary to you know what is not ought to happen in any state because it is not constitutional now this is exactly what is happening in river state but the whole matter is the fact that it is now in the supreme court because oko jumbo's led fashion has now filed an appeal of that particular federal high court judgment in supreme court and the supreme court as the appellate court in the country is going to give the final judgment now a lot of persons are started stating that on what grounds will this led fashion of Ahmed martin amehule who are loyalists of insu wiki come to give orders to the state governor going as far as giving him seven days of command to, to represent the 2024 budget and as everything is being stated and the curiosity is running in the minds of residents and indigenous of the state it is there there's every tendency though as alleged that if he fails to obey the seven day automatum, then they might start moving on the impeachment process. React on the comment section. What is your take on what the controversies is happening in River State? What is your take on the final solution on this particular matter? Is it appropriate for Martin Abehulele's administration to have given the state governor seven days automatum to represent the budget? And is it also right that the two assembly led by Oko Jumbo and Martin Amehule are sitting concurrently in the state, notwithstanding that Simla Yofubara has now been vindicated by the fact that the CTC chairman he appointed, as the fact that he stated that the local government chairman, likes of you know Chidi Lloyd and Sami Wanosike, are no longer holding forth. React on the comments section. Don't forget to share this video, like this video, and do it often. Hit the subscribe button so that you get notified when we drop more trending videos.